In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Analytics to Google Sites. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is open your browser and then search for analytics.google.com. So search for this and this will take you to Google Analytics. Over here, you'll have to click on start measuring and now we'll have to create our account. So the first thing we have to do is enter our account name on top over here. After that, scroll down and here they have some data sharing options. So you can go through these and select them if you want. I'll just leave these three selected and then click on next. Over here, you'll have to enter your property name. So just enter any name over here. After that, enter your time zone and then your currency. And then click on next. After that, select all of the options which are suitable to your website. So the first one is your industry category. Then here select whichever category is suitable to your website. After that, the business size. Then just select a few options from here, which basically ask how you plan to use Google Analytics. And then click on create. Here, you'll have to agree to the terms and conditions. So just change your country by clicking on this box that's over here. After that, you can go through the terms of service and then select this box here and click on I accept. So if you want to receive emails from Google Analytics, you can click on save or else just click on uncheck all and save. Once you've created an account, you reach this page and here under choose a platform, you have to select web since we want to connect this to our website. After that, you'll have to enter your website URL over here. So now in a new tab, you'll have to go to Google Sites and then open the website which you want to connect. So I'll do that now. Here, I've reached Google Sites and I'll have to select the website to which I want to add analytics. So I'll just click on it. After that, make sure that your website is published and if it isn't, just click on publish that's written over here. And then you'll have to click on this icon, which is to get the published site link. Then click on copy link. And now it's copied. So now I have to go back to analytics and paste the link in this box over here. Then you'll have to make a couple of changes. Just remove HTTPS that's written over here since they've already mentioned it before. And at the end, I can remove this part, which is the URL for the homepage. Then I can give a name to this website. And here you can see what all they'll be measuring. So if you want enhanced measurement, then you can enable this. And if you just want to see what all they'll be measuring, just click on more that's written over here. And here you can see everything they'll measure. And then click on create stream. And now the stream is created and there's one thing left to do and that's copy the measurement ID that's given over here into our Google site. So just copy it from here. After that, go to your site, then click on settings that's written over here. Go to the analytics page and here you'll have to paste the measurement ID. So here I've added the measurement ID and it's automatically enabled analytics. So now I'll go back to Google Analytics. Then I'll have to refresh this page over here. And now you'll have to wait for some time before both get connected. So it's been a few hours. And now if I just click on this, as you can see, data collection has started. So now let's see if it's working. So now I'll open the site and then we'll see if the data is coming in analytics. So first in analytics, we'll go to the reports page that's over here. And currently, the users in the last 30 minutes is zero over here. But now I'll open the website and let's see the change. And here, as you can see, the users in the last 30 minutes is showing as one since I just opened it over here. So this is basically how to add Google Analytics to Google Sites. And if you want to know how to add a contact form to your site, then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.